What's up fellow collectors, fellow subscribers, fellow hunters, Mike the Hunter here on a beautiful Saturday here in Redlands, California, Southern California. Today is the day where uh, I finally see Captain Marvel. I've been hearing all this lingo about Captain Marvel and how it definitely was not up to its expectations, up to the uh, audience's expectations. Some people I've been hearing good reviews about it. So with that being said, uh, Mary's on her way. We're gonna go head out and do a couple of, uh, run a couple errands. I'm currently working on a diorama right now. An awesome diorama. This diorama is uh, kind of dedicated to one certain character that I picked up over the week. I went ahead and purchased my uh, second Mezco figure ever, the Mezco Punisher. Look at that beautiful figure. When I say I'm in love with a figure, I am in love with this figure. Mike, you say that about every figure you get. Yeah, but this one's for real, man. This one's the one. You know what I mean? This one's the one. This one's the one. This Punisher has such good articulation, has such good details, has so many accessories that I can't even keep up with. I had to put them in a baggie so I, because I know I will lose them. Trust me, I will lose them. The head sculpts on this guy are just so amazing. The facial expressions, the details on the on the the bruises, the scratches on his helmet, the texture of the body. So I'm gonna take him with me today. Um, I do plan on doing a short little review of this guy. Nothing's too serious. Um, but I will upload a review of him. Also, I do plan on going to the swap meet to look for an old, I don't know, Barbie car or an old toy van of some sort to customize for my Punisher. Um, I want to paint it black, add weapons on it, you know, basically everything that everyone's doing. Most people are using the Ninja Turtles van, but I looked that thing up on Amazon and that thing's like 60 bucks, 50 bucks and up. Yeah. No, I'm not really gonna go for that price range. I'm gonna go to the swap meet, maybe I might get lucky. Sometimes I do, I see a lot of vehicles um, on some of the lots there. So yeah guys, let's have ourselves a good Saturday vlog and uh, a good hunt for a Punisher vehicle. Are you ready to see Captain Marvel today? Cause I am. No! All right guys, so we just bought our tickets for Captain Marvel. Nine o'clock tonight, we will see what happens? It'll be the moment of truth on whether it's a movie worth seeing or not. Um, we're about to go to the swap me real quick and see if I can find a Punisher car. Let's hope I do. I'm not going to bring the camera with me though because there's a ton of people. I don't have a backpack to hold my camera or anything like that. Um, I don't feel like you know carrying it in a crowd and whatnot. Um, and when I go hunting for stuff at the swap meet, I like to dig in. So. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Mary doesn't want to hold my camera over here. And we're going to search for Hot Cheeto Asteroids. Yeah, I keep telling her in her dreams. Um, all these 7-Elevens out here are sold out of wait, Asteroids. Wait, 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 wait. If you guys want to send some Hot Cheeto Asteroids towards me, I'm accepting them. Send them to Mike's address. Good luck. Yeah, all these collectors are trying to get them themselves. All right, guys, so we're going to go try to find a Punisher vehicle. If we don't, oh well, hey, it's a thrill of the hunt. Maybe I might pick up a few loose figures if I find any good ones here. You'll see us when we return. All right, guys, so we are back from the swap meet, and I did find a Shopkins car that I can transform into a Punisher truck. At least I think I can. The only thing that sucks is I cannot put my Punisher figure inside of the van. Um, I'll have to post a picture of him outside of it, but... Uh, Here's the Shopkins car. It's like an ice cream car. Yeah, you laugh now. You just wait till it's done. Got the back. Doesn't open up or anything, which sucks, but hey. Uh, this is good for pictures. I'm gonna paint it up, sand it down, um, add some effects on it, and you'll see my Punisher Shopkin transformation. Not only did I pick up a truck, but I did find a spot that was selling uh, furniture for a very, very cheap price, uh, doll furniture that is. Found a couple chairs that I'm gonna do some painting on for my uh, Marvel Legends dioramas. Little table here, um, got a couch, and uh, oh, like a little workbench I'm gonna turn into a, kinda like a gun workbench, you know what I mean? So, oh, a little table as well. I'm gonna paint all these and you guys are gonna see the magic that acrylic paint does to Barbie toys. 
You guys are laughing right now because I went and bought Barbie toys, but hey, you're gonna see the transformation that it makes for my diorama, and it's gonna be sick. All right, babe, and Mary went ahead and bought her some, uh... Oh, sorry, my cousin texted me. She said if I wanna go here, that's Hot Cheetos. With oh natural God, you and your Hot Cheetos, Jesus. Okay, what were you saying? Show them what you got. Mary went ahead and got some uh, Tosti Locos. She got some bolitas. She got chips and chips and more chips. Some ruthless and these bomb candies. Lota Marindos and then Dedos. Have you guys ever had Dedos? These are so bomb. I'm pretty sure they have. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna go to the dollar store, pick up some other items for my dioramas, and we'll see you guys on the next clip. All right, guys, so um, we ended up going to uh, this discount shop called CCM in Fontana. And uh, I just thought I'd look for uh, any other cars there or any other junk, you know. I ended up finding exactly pretty much what I was looking for, which is a Ninja Turtle truck. This, uh, this truck price, I guess, was originally, I guess, I think $25. Um, I got it on discount for $750 for a Ninja Turtle truck that I'm going to repaint flat black, paint the rims. Um, I might take out this stuff right here, even though this would be like a cool gun, a uh, place to like attach a gun for Punisher to climb up on this ladder here. Um, but I don't know, I might take it out temporarily. Give it a nice paint job and you guys will see the finish. And it also opens up too. Also opens up so I can fit Punisher in there perfectly. Hi guys, so I've been a 30 year customer of Del Taco now, and I must say, I need to complain about this. Move, move honey, move. This is the respect that we get from Del Taco. And this is very disappointing. I'm gonna take this up with corporate, and we're gonna, we're gonna get ourselves justice on this, Mary, because that is terrible. There's not even extra cheese on here, like I asked. And we requested extra cheese, too. So if this is what Del Taco is like, then I'm not gonna be a customer there anymore, right, babe? All right. On the other hand, this burrito right here is bomb as hell. Okay, guys, so I am currently setting up uh, the paint section here. Basically all this stuff I got, so check it out. <clears throat> got this couch right here, got this chair right here, and got the two tables I bought from the 99 cent store. Um, everything painted black, Punisher style. So let's go ahead and do that. Unbelievable. They done left the sticker on a spot that is very difficult to peel off. Hey, it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. That's why it's leaving behind all that paper shredding. They probably need just water. Nah, nah, bro. Don't we ain't got dramatic. we ain't got time for that, bro. I want to paint. Wow! Look at this little chair reclines for a Barbie chair. In case uh, Punisher has a long weekend, let's kick back, you know. Yeah, this is all gonna be matte black. Matte black. I don't like the glossy look. I want it to be matte. You know, to me, it looks more realistic when it's that way. And this truck is about to be badass. So basically I'm planning on covering this whole entire truck with the with a coat of black paint and then from there I'll be painting over the details. Um, some silver here and there, uh, silver on the rims, and um, I gotta find some place to get a Punisher sticker and just slap it on the side or on the top or wherever. This little workbench has these little characters kind of engraved into the plastic. This is, uh, if I'm right, this is Doc McStuffins. Yeah, I think it's Doc McStuffins. So, I mean, I guess what I can do is just throw some, some foam paper over this, some black foam paper or foam board. It's cold out here, huh, babe? Yeah. It's cold, man. I'm freezing out here, man. Need me a jacket. So it is 4.54, it's about to be five o'clock, and our movie starts at nine. So, we got some time to kick back a little bit, focus on this diorama. We'll be seeing Captain Marvel. Yeah!
have a lot of black in your home, maybe want to settle for some different colors, maybe some, some brown leather. No, everything has to be black. Okay, so we're uh, letting the first coat here dry up, and I think it's coming out pretty well. It looks terrible right now because it's glossy, but it's gonna dry up to have that matte finish. It's gonna look sick. It's a beautiful day out, isn't it? Isn't it real beautiful out here? Hear that dog? So guys, I mean, look how easy it is. I mean, you go to the swap meet, to your thrift store, to wherever, man, and you find little cheap dollhouse toys. Literally, each of these pieces of furniture were like two bucks each, dollar each, dollar fifty. Um, all together, I paid, I think, like 15 bucks for all of this. And just went to the store, got some spray paint for four bucks for a can. Simple repaint, man, and you have... Uh, whatever kind of diorama materials you're looking for, whatever color you're going for, instead of going out and buying expensive pieces online or, or Hobby Lobby, wherever it is, man. You gotta be creative. And you gotta look up ideas. Are you itchy? Yeah. All right, guys, so this is where I work out. Go ahead and show them, check it out. This is where I do my bench presses. Um, some day, one day I got so mad, I raged so hard, man. Um, I punched a hole through the seat, as you can see. It was real bad. Um, yeah, I just punched a straight hole through the seat. Yeah, that's how strong I am. <laughs> the, this is just a little tour while the paint's drying, you know. Um, here's my baby right here. Um, she's in great shape, you know. Take her out for a spin here and there to go get some milk from the grocery store. Um, as you can see, perfectly clean lights, ready to go. Um, you go down here, you look at the wheels. Those suckers are just banging, man real nice and you know it's it's it matches me i think you know i call it the mike the hunter scooter um yeah you know just mob down the street in this thing over here we got our dogs we got our we got our yorks shut up <laughs> got our yorkies there harley and champ just chilling guarding their territory It's not recording yet. It is? Oh, shit. All right, guys, here's the second piece um, that I bought with the Mezco Punisher. I'm gonna go ahead and let Mary open it for me. Ew. She wanted to, she wanted to do it. Yeah, boy! Hail Hydra! Say it, babe, say Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Got the Hydra cap, baby. I didn't need Armin Zola. I mean, the new one looks cooler than the old one, but I have the old one already. Um, it was given to me as a gift, and I'm okay with that one, so um, I just needed this Hydra cap. <gasps> this looks like Iron Man. Don't you ever say that again. That it does like not Iron look like Iron Man. Oh my god, everyone's going to agree with me. That's Iron Man's face right there. Um, yes. Basically, they did reuse the head sculpt, um, but I'm going to go ahead and pretend that it doesn't exist. I just find it funny how Cap's trying to steal Iron Man's look. First of all, that's Hydra doing that. Damn it. That does look the same. Did you just break my cap? Yeah. Did you just break my Hydra cap? I just broke this little part. Oh. Wait, it's not completely broken. You can just put some. No, 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 no. Some Let me see. Glue. No. Super glue. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do to my Hydra cap shield? <laughs> It won't focus. What'd you do? Did you... Oh my god. Babe! It's not gonna hook okay. to his... <gasps> Why did you do that? It was gonna do it regardless! You're so full of crap. Oh my so god. I let you play with my new Hydra crap for not even... <laughs> oh god. Babe, you're so dramatic. That's, a... That's why people invented glue for... You know what? What? This is why girlfriends don't touch their boyfriend's toys because they don't know how to play with them. Say I won't. I will throw that across your whole Marvel universe. You've already I destroyed will. me enough. Iron Man and Iron Man. Who's this supposed to be? Huh? I'm so done with Who's you. This supposed to I'm be? so done with Who you right now. I'm so done with you right now. So done with you. Tell me who is this supposed to be? So done Tell with you. Me. All right, guys. So it looks like this is uh. Just about finished on the drying part. 
wheels look nice, the tires look nice, the grill looks pretty sweet, got the back of the truck there painted up. The inside however is still green, but I'm okay with that. It's not going to be showing too much, so very nice looking. Just gonna go ahead and do some dry brushing with this this bad boy. Sweet. Okay guys, so there you have it. He's inside of the truck. Um, now it doesn't shut all the way because Punisher's just a little bit too big to fit in there. But it does work, you know, he's inside there. Um, just close enough, you know, you can't really notice that much, but it looks good. He looks like he is on the hunt. That's so sick. Oh my gosh, man. There's a little bit better view of the front. Yeah, there you guys have it. Mr. Castle inside of the Punisher truck. Yeah. yeah. What the, oh, God. What do you think of this project, babe? What do you think of my Punisher truck? It's cool. It's cool? Mm -hmm. It's cool? It's cool? It is cool. Yeah, you transformed it. I transformed this TMNT truck into a Punisher truck. Um, I just need to write a number there on the license plate. Something, something nice. Um, Got to go get these tags from the DMV. Um, not sure if I'm going to leave those lights white or not. Not sure if I'm going to leave these wheels chromed out or not. I'm thinking I kind of want to do them white. I'm not sure yet. Uh, might need some other people's opinions on that first. I feel like when you do it white, it's got a more of a Punisher effect on it because like this, this looks like something out of a Batman movie. This looks like a Batman truck to me with the chrome. It's too much black and gray, you know what I mean? It needs to be more black and white Punisher colors. Thank you so much for uh, watching this vlog, um, being a part of this journey on transforming this uh, this truck and, and these pieces of furniture. Um, do me a favor, click like, hit subscribe if you guys want to see more cool videos like this. Um, don't forget to hit the notification bell. And we will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your figs, enjoy your families, and as always, good hunting. Peace!